Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And off to a good start. Even though we're in our late afternoon, but I hope all is well with everyone. So, um, my devotion for today is entitled, Looking for the Good. So, we're going to get into that. And then gonna do a word of prayer first and then of course I'm getting to the devotion and also I want to also read another word with you all as well so shall we get into it father God thank you thank you for the many wonderful miraculous things that you do in our lives thank you for the way you lead us and the way you move us Thank you for understanding and thank you for clarification, Lord. Thank you, God, for loving us. And thank you for being such an amazing God that we can always rely on and depend on and trust and call on in times of need. And not even just in times of need, just being a God that we can come to and just talk about anything with. A God that we can just always give praise and honor to and give thanks to, God, because you were just that good. Father... Just help us to receive your word and ask that you please forgive us, God, of all the sins that we have committed, Father, throughout this week and today. And, Father, I ask that you just please pour your spirit upon each and every one of us, Father. As we read your word, God, help us to receive your word, God. And not only receive it, Father, but help us to be hearers and doers of your word, God. Help us to not forget what your word says, Father, but... Help us, Father, to hold dear to your word, Father, because your word, God, leads us and your word helps us in life throughout the many journeys and the situations that we get into and face throughout life. Your word is such a blessing, God, and we thank you so much for it. So, God, enlighten us, move me out the way, and let your word be spoken, Father. Do what you will on your time, God. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, looking for the good, as I said, that's entitled, um, my devotion is entitled, out of Psalms 33, 21. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. God's plan will not lead you where God's power cannot keep you. Of course, life has its bumps and bruises. There are good times. And difficult times and challenges and the challenge is to find your good God moment in both types of experience when do you praise and worship God when it seems that life is going well and he is answering your prayers and you have relatively few problems sure it is easy to praise him then but when the bumps come along and you seem to be directed into U-turns, how do you adapt? When God is in control, there is no reason to expect the worst of a changing situation. In fact, you can look for the surprises of his new plan and see what he has new for you. Sort of like when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. When you find yourself in the problems of life, the mud puddle, look for the blessing he will give. Fish in your pockets. You can avoid having ulcers by adapting to the situation. If you fall in the mud puddle, check your pockets for fish. It is very easy to praise God when life seems to be very good. When things are just going so well and we're just so happy and just on cloud nine. But how easy is it for us or how hard is it for us when life is getting a little tough and things start to happen, things beyond our control? How do we adapt to that? What do we do? Are we still praying? Are we angry with God or we're angry with someone to where the joy is just completely gone? Are we 
keeping our faith in God? Are we still trusting in him? Even though what we're going through has taken so much effect. Yeah, I can say all day it's so easy to praise God in the good times. It's easy for any of us. But when things are going downhill, for some of us, it's a bit easy. It's a, it's a um, something that we have become adapted to and we're used to because many of us have relied on God and become dependent on God and to trust him when we're going through things. And for others, it's a bit difficult because I guess maybe we expect things to always be good. And when things just happen, we're just thrown out of the blue. We're just thrown out there and just like, wow, really did that just happen? And sometimes we don't really know how to really handle that situation but we always have to be mindful that life in life things happen and if we become trusting on God and depending on God we don't just depend on him in the good times because remember he brought us to those good times and he blessed us with whatever he has blessed us with so the more and closer you become to um, become with God you become more dependent on God because God is your source, because God has supplied you with everything that you needed. So trust and believe when, whenever you face with trials, trust and believe whatever God has allowed to come in your life and whatever God, whatever trial God has allowed you to go through. Trust he has already equipped you and he is always he's already given you the strength. He's always he's already given you the wisdom. He's given you everything that you need to adapt in that situation. So, again, it's so easy to praise him in the good times. But we also need to learn how to praise him in the bad times, too, because in those bad times, that's when God really shows who he really is. And sometimes we have to get out of that mindset of, well, when we're going through hard times and when we're sad and we're upset yeah sometimes we may not pray sometimes we may get upset with God God understands all of that but try not to get so comfortable in that state to where when things happen and aren't going your way that you just stop giving God thanks because remember your trials are temporary it's not going to last always it's going to always you're going to always be faced with something you don't pick and choose. Sometimes you do pick and choose when you're being disobedient. But for most of the part, you don't pick and choose your trials. But when they come, you got to learn how to confuse the enemy. And you got to learn how to praise God in the midst of that trial. Because prayer is what's, is, prayer is what's going to keep you sane. When you think about a lot of the people out here that are committing suicide and doing a lot of things that they're doing, Sometimes you got to question yourself and wonder, why did they do that? And sometimes we don't understand it. Sometimes they they didn't have what some of us have. They were equipped, but maybe mentally, emotionally, something may have been going on. And they just weren't ready to adapt and equip themselves with whatever trials and troubles that they're faced with. And a lot of times people just give up and they just can't deal with the trials that they're faced with. And they just give up and just end it. And... A lot of times we, we get to that point when we go through some things. Because some of us go through some really bad things. Some some of the stories that people can tell, you look at them and be like, wow, really? Did you go through that? And it makes you wonder, how did you get through that? But trust and believe, God got them through that. God and faith got them through that. So, let's keep in mind, when we are going through a lot of things and sometimes it's always good to have good people in your circle when you're going through some things you know sometimes you may not be able to pray for yourself and sometimes you know you might need to call somebody so somebody can lift you up and pray but you got to remember also sometimes when we're trying to call our parent or that close friend or that pastor somebody who you rely on that you trust that you know can encourage them Sometimes they may be unavailable. They may be doing something else. Some, sometimes we just can't get to the phone. So in the case that they can't get to the phone, you have to learn on your own to become reliant on God. 
Because when you may call on somebody that you need, they may not be available at that particular time. But trust and believe God is always available. God has given you his word. He has given you your love. He has given you prayer that you can have direct communication and that you can talk to him about whatever the issue has or whatever the issue you have been faced. Um, when I, when I face some issues, I'm not going to lie and sit up here and say that when I go through things, I'm always, first thing I go do is pray. Not always. Sometimes when I go through some stuff, sometimes I sit there, I think about it. Sometimes I might even cry. Sometimes I might even get angry. Sometimes I might even get upset, but eventually my end result is I got to talk to God about it because God is going to fix this situation. God is going to work this situation out. And yeah, sometimes I might even have to pick up the phone and have to call somebody who I know is going to pray me through it because sometimes we need each other to help us through some of the things that we go through. If you think that you can live this life all on your own and not need anybody, you are fooling yourself because we all need somebody here to help us through this life that we live because it is hard. It, it gets tough out here sometimes. And when things happen, you know, we don't know the state of mind that people are in when they go through what they go through. So sometimes it's always good to call somebody when you're really thinking some negative things and you're thinking about doing something you shouldn't do. But Try to develop a habit of praising God, talking to God when you're going through some of those difficult times. Not just when things are going good for you, when things are going bad as well. Because guess what? That same person, that same God who put you in that situation when things was going all good, that's the same God that's going to deliver you out of whatever situation that you're in that you ain't feeling that you're not feeling too well and that's very uncomfortable for you so praise him even in the midst of your storm even when things are getting bad because trust me he's gonna make it all right all he's doing is just waiting for you to call on him he's waiting just like your friend or your parent or whoever sitting there waiting for you when you need when when they need you when you need them they're waiting for you to call so they can encourage you. That's the same way God is. He is waiting for you to get down on your knees and come to him and start talking to him and start asking him for help. Because God, God wants you to become so reliant and dependent on him and no one else because God can only do, no one can do what God can do. God is the only one that can save you. God can heal you. God can deliver you. God can get you out of situations. Even when you've gotten yourself in a situation, God can get you out of so much. But when God comes through and when he works on your behalf, he does such an amazing thing that will just have you smiling from ear to ear, having you wanting to shout and go tell others about what God has done and what God has delivered you out of because God is just that good. But you got to remember who is in control of all that. God is in control of everything in your life. Give him that. Don't take matters into your own hand. Don't try to take control over everything because it's not for you to take control over. Because God said in his word, this battle is not yours. It is the Lord's. So let him fight this battle for you and fight your battle. If I don't know how many of you seen that war room, but oh my goodness, that war room, that movie is such an amazing, amazing inspiration. You do not, because many of us have found ourselves fighting our battles with our mouths and fighting our battles with our fists. That is not the answer. Fighting your battles physically will only do more harm than good. You have to fight your battle spiritually in prayer because it is a war that we are in, a war that we can we can somewhat see it, but we can't. But it is a spiritual thing that is going on in this world that many of us need to take knowledge to so that we know what we need to do to defend, defend ourselves against and how we defend ourselves with the word of God. And with prayer, that's the only way we're going to be able to make it in this world. If we keep praying and trusting in God, trusting in his word, reading his word, holding his word dear to us and acting on that word and believing what that word says. Because trust and believe the enemy is here to steal 
kill, and destroy. And you look around you, look around this world and see the things, the, all the evilness and ugliness going on. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep trusting in God because God is the only way out. God is the only way, the only person who is going to see you through all this that we are going through. He is what's going to help you keep your sanity, keep your mind, give you peace, everything that you are going to need to stand strong in this world. God has all of that. But just open your heart to him and let him give you what he is trying to give you. He won't force it on you, but allow him to give you what he is trying to give you. He wants to save you. He wants to care for you. He wants to take care of you. But only if you will allow him. And some things he'll do even if you don't allow him. But even more so, God will do more if you open your heart to allow him. So always don't forget when you're in the midst of any storm that you're faced with to turn to God, turn to that word. God will lead you. He always leads you. He won't lead. He won't always give you what you want when you ask for, it, but trust and believe on his time. He will give you what you need at the exact right time. And you will know without beyond a doubt that it is God. It was it was God sent. God works just that good. But when he works, he comes and he shows out each and every time. So don't give up on God. I want to share something. I I was um going through something and I was talking to a friend of mine the other day and I was a bit confused about some things and just trying to figure out what should I do. And of course, you know, been praying and praying and praying about it because sometimes we want to give up on certain things or even certain people we want to just give up on and we're just kind of seeking God on some things because sometimes you can't act on your own in your, um, you know, acting on your own, um, doing what your flesh wants you to do. You have to go to God in prayer and ask God to God to confirm some things for you to show you and let you know what it is that you need to do. Because sometimes we will act out on things and allow our flesh to take control when we, we shouldn't do that because a lot of times when we do that. We'll mess up a lot and we'll we'll make matters worse. So went to God about it, prayed about it, friend prayed with me about it, you know. And that same night I had we me and my friend prayed about it. I went and read one of my devotions, and my prayer, the the devotion was all prayed out. That's what it was entitled. And the scripture was out of Luke 18, 1, and the scripture said. Then Jesus told his disciples, he told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. And following that, it said, no matter what you are praying about, don't give up. Keep talking to the heavenly father. The process of persistent prayer will change your heart to be more like his. And at times when you feel all prayed out, remember that God is always listening and working in your life. So, you may be praying and praying for something and sometimes God might not answer you right then and there. You're thinking, God is not listening to me. Why is he not answering me? God don't work on your time. He don't work on none of our time. He works on his time. But when he's ready to work, trust me, he working. And he going to show you some things and he going to give you that word at the exact time you need it. Because everything I read in this word was some of the things that I was thinking about doing. Giving up. Um, not being persistent anymore. I'm tired of this. I don't want to do this anymore. Lord, what do I need to do? You've got to go to God. You've got to be persistent in everything you do. So when you give praise to God in the good times, just like you persistent in doing that, be persistent in giving him praise in the bad times. So I pray you take from that. May that word that I God allowed me to give to you resonate in your heart. And you take that and abide by that and receive that so um my prayer is that everyone has a wonderful day and that um many of you that may have been struggling with that i pray that that will open your heart and your eyes to start being mindful to start giving him more praise and start talking to him more and just thanking him for even the little things so you all have a wonderful day be safe today and I love you all. And even though we don't talk or even see each other, I love you all. 
and prayerfully I will be able to come back with you all next week with another word, God willing. And I'm leave you all with a word of prayer. God, um, thank you for how you move. You do such wonderful work and you do such amazing things in us, God. When we open our hearts to you and allow you to just work in our lives and move us in wonderful ways, God, you can do so much, God, and so much can be done. And so many hearts can be blessed and moved by just us opening our hearts to do what you have called us to do. And Father, I just ask by the sound of our voice as I pray, many that will hear, many that are listening, Father, that they open their ears. And not only as they open their ears, God, they will hear your word and they will receive your word and they are abiding your word, God. Some things that they may have been captive to, some things that they may have been used to, Father, help them to not continue to be stuck off in that anymore, God. But help them, God, to give you their utmost praise, Help them to worship you, Father, even when it's hard, even when they're hurting, even when they're angry, God. Help them to lift up their voice and give praise and honor to you, God. Because, God, you are going to save them and you're going to deliver them, God. Because you have assured them and you have promised us, God, that you would never leave us nor forsake us, God. You, can't, you said cast your cares upon you because you care. So, God, whenever we come to you in prayer, God, whether it be good times or bad, Father, help us to just cast those cares before you, Father, and help us to be in mind, keep in mind that you are always with us, God, because you promised us. And God, you are a God who never lies, God. So, Father, help all of us, God, when we go through things that we go through, help us to depend on you, to rely on you, God. Help us to not turn away from you, God, because when we're going through things, God, that's the that's the main time we need to stay connected to you, God, and keep close to you, God, because so many things happen in the midst of not being in your presence, God, when we are angry and when we're hurting, God. And God, we know that you want us all to be saved and you want us to live in peace with one another, God, and do what's right, God. So, Father, I'm asking you to soften our hearts. Father, I'm asking for your Holy Spirit to just direct our thoughts and direct our words and our actions and everything that we do, Father. Just use us to do wonderful work, Father God, because we know that you have put us here for a purpose. So, God, just help us to be uplifted, Father, and help us to continue to love on you and love on each other and being forgiving towards one another, Lord, and not hateful and mean and bashful towards one another, God, but Help us to do what we're supposed to do, Father, and help us to listen to your word, God, and abide in your word, Lord. And, Father, for the many things that you do, even the little things that you do, help us to give you thanks. And in the midst of everything, each and every day, help us to give you thanks. Because, God, you deserve all our praise. Bless us all, Father, and please forgive us. Guide us throughout this day and help us to have a wonderful day. Please save us and deliver us and help us throughout whatever struggles we're faced with each day. In Jesus' name, we do thank you and pray. Amen. And let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. So remember, smile at someone. <laughs> Tell someone you love them. Um, give someone a hug, need be. Or whatever, but always remember to show love. Remember, tomorrow's not promised. Tonight's not promised. Nothing is ever promised to us. So let's live out our life loving each other and being peaceful with each other and honoring God and keeping Him at the center of our life, but putting Him first above all things. So, everyone, have a wonderful Wednesday. Be safe out there on the roads. Have a wonderful day at work. Those who are at work and those who are at school, however, just be safe and enjoy the rest of your day. Love you all and be safe.